terrifying picture shows strange unidentified creature roaming through a zoo. Man bitten by seven foot alligator who ripped chunk from his leg after mistaking beast for dog on a leash. Hello everybody, my name is Lord Batora, and I couldn't really figure out what to do for a video this week. Not that I don't have videos that are in the work, it's just that I couldn't finish them on time for this week because there's just a lot of more specifics that I want to do with the preparation and the editing and whatnot. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and take an idea from a channel that I enjoy called Shrouded Hand. He does a lot of horror stuff, but he also has this one where he goes to uh, the some of the more questionable news sites that uh, report on just uh, some out there stuff that a lot of others don't a lot of the time. We'll, we'll just see what's going on in the world of news. We're gonna see what's going on with the sun. Ghost Rider. Disappearing boy on ride has everyone baffled. Can you work it out? The young boy simply vanishes in front of everyone's eyes. Can you work out what's going on? Well, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can work it out. All right, let's see if we can figure it out. We got a video here. Disappearing boy on fairground ride has everyone baffled. Can you work out what's going on? Let's take a look. I assume you mean the one that slowed down on there. Oh, there's only one that- was that it? Is that it? Well, let's go back. Okay, yeah, there's a boy in a white shirt. He's in the yellow cart. He comes around again. And it looks like he's not there, so... From my perspective, you can see him right there. He's got like a white shirt, it looks like. You can kind of see him holding onto the handlebar. And then when he comes around again, so now that he's coming around a second time, it does not seem like he is there. Pretty spooky. He's still looking over as if he's there though. Or he might be looking at the camera though, maybe? But, you know, I'm not about, I'm not, I don't really personally feel comfortable calling this uh, a ghost rider. I don't know, maybe he's like tucked down on the seat down here, or maybe he just hopped off on the other side of the, maybe he like got off of the right and left, even though it would be like risky. It's a, it's a kid. Kids do stupid stuff every day. So I don't know if I would call it disappearing or a ghost rider. That seems like a little bit of an overstatement to me, but who knows? Maybe it's something spooky. You never know. You never know. It's a weird world. Let's go. Let's see if we can find something else. Night creature. Terrifying picture shows strange unidentified creature roaming through a zoo. You can see it right there. Let's click on that. Let's see. What do we got there? We've got something standing there. It looks like right here. Terrifying picture shows strange unidentified creature roaming through Texas Zoo, leaving city dumbfounded. Puzzling pictures show a strange unidentified creature roaming through a Texas Zoo, leaving city officials dumbfounded. The mysterious night creature was spotted on a security camera at the <coughs> at the Ar Amarillo Zoo on May 21st at around 1.30 a.m. You can see the timestamp right there. Spy point. Is that the brand or something? Is it just taking pictures or is it a is it like footage? Asking residents and help identifying the creature. Oh, we could, does it have actually two pictures? No, oh, it's just those two. All right. A photo, a still photo released by the zoo shows a lengthy creature standing on two appears to be its legs. And wait, shows a lengthy creature standing on two appears to be appears to its legs. Outside, you got some grammar issues there. Outside the facility fence, was it a person with a strange hat who likes to walk at night? Oh, maybe. That, that could be a theory though. It could be a guy with a strange hat just walking around the park at 1.30. Are they allowed in the park at 1.30 at night? A large coyote on its hind legs? Seems unlikely. A chupacabra? Seems probable. It's a mystery, and that's for sure. For Armirillo to help solve, the city said on their website. It's a mystery for Amarillo to help solve. Okay, I see. The dash seems unnecessary. The zoo is calling it a yowl. 
unidentified armorillo. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'll roll with it. But the city is asking for the public's help to identify the figure. We just want to let the Amarillo County have some fun with this. Yeah. All right. Uh, so th there's the picture. Can you guys identify that? What What is that? It's a uh, pretty mysterious, pretty spooky. I do say so myself. Uh, I don't know if it's. I. It doesn't look like a coyote to me. Uh, it doesn't even really look like a, a, a guy, it kind of just looks like, uh, if I'm going to be fully honest, it might be like a blur of like a moth flying past the camera really fast or something, and then you're kind of seeing through it. That's kind of what I'm getting, but it, it does look like it might be behind the fence, but you know, uh, how cameras work, and depending on the, the rate, it might just become transparency or whatever. So the camera can do some weird things too. but. It's probably a chupacabra. It looks like it might have horns, so yeah, it could be the, the legendary goat sucker walking around the zoo in Texas looking for a goat to suck. Man bitten by seven foot alligator who ripped chunk from his leg after mistaking beast for dog on a leash. Now that honestly seems somewhat unlikely, but uh, let, let's see what he has to say. The attack happened as the 48 year old was walking through the gardens of the Warm Mineral Springs Motel in Northport, Florida, of course it's Florida, just before 1 a.m. on June 7th. Cops had said he saw a shadowy figure in the bushes and instantly thought it was a dog on a long lead. Officers said that it was the reason why he didn't immediately flee the scene, Fox 13 reports. Sarasota County cops said the alligator bit the man's right leg and the beast pulled his muscle tissue. Officers said the man felt the gator ripping a chunk off his leg. WFTS reported. He was taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital in Venice where he was treated. The man has been released from the hospital. Meanwhile, the large beast was removed from the motel by a trapper, according to Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission officials. The FWC has revealed that there have only been 26 deadly gator attacks in the Sunshine State since Officials started tracking him in 1948. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, just a general tip for you out there. I even learned in health and safety class back when I was a uh, wee lad to not even pet stray dogs or dogs that you didn't know and trust. Uh, so it's like you get to know them first. You don't just immediately go and pet them because it's a, it's a health and safety risk. And I assume that same thing would go for gators. If you don't know and trust the alligator, don't pet it. Even if it looks like a dog in a bush, don't pet an alligator. Uh, obviously, this guy confused it for a dog, which, as you can tell by the long snout, uh, dogs have long snout. You can tell that gators have teeth. Uh, dogs also have teeth. So I can understand how you can get those confused. But uh, you don't want to get bitten by an, an alligator. I don't think so. Maybe if you see a shadow in a bush. Also, generically, if you see a shadow in a bush, don't go and try to pet whatever in the bush. You could find all sorts of things, uh, unless you like that type of adventure. Uh, but I, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Ghosted, I'm a Dollar Tree worker. Something in our store keeps moving the items and it's spooking me out. A Dollar Tree worker has claimed that the store's products are constantly being moved, leaving employees spooked. I assume they mean not by, uh, you know, the guests who are moving things around on the daily basis while they shop, I assume. A Redditor, oh, that makes it fully trustworthy then, revealed that a haunting spirit named Earl makes the boxes fall and moves the balloons. Well, did he introduce himself or something? You know, his name is Earl. They also claim that Earl also opens the store's automatic doors. The worker joked, this one time I was blowing up balloons and I felt something pulling the hood of my hoodie. I turned around and there was no one there. Well, that's pretty spooky. Honestly, I would be a little bit spooked if something like that happened to me. I, I would be a little, I'd be a little rustled. The chilling revelation has left Dollar Tree workers spooked as they shared their experiences on Reddit. One claimed that a ghost keeps leaving stray dimes on the floor and knocks over items when employees aren't looking at night. Oh, he's leaving them tips then. He's probably happy that they haven't called an exorcist yet because he just needs a spot to hang around. A lot of people assume, they just presume that ghosts are kind of malevolent, but you know, you don't really know that their true intentions are, I don't think. I think it's a little unfair some of the times. 
An employee said her co-worker claimed to see a ghost float by as she left the store. The worker recalled she was serious too. She said this gift since childhood to see spirits and st She assured me it was friendly, though, but I haven't noticed anything strange since that night. Always thought it was weird. Workers have claimed their spirits, Kevin and Fred, have previously pushed over stacks of boxes in the stock rooms. Oh, so there's three of them. So we have Earl, Kevin, and Fred. That sounds like it could make a pretty interesting uh, TV show, honestly. We've got a bunch of other advertisements going around here. But, uh, so what do you, what do you think? Uh, is Earl messing around, moving stuff, leaving dimes? I don't know about what was the name, Kevin and Fred. I don't know what they're doing. They didn't mention anything about their interactions except for maybe hanging out. So that's kind of interesting, I suppose. Uh, it would be nice if we had some like footage there, like some night camera. Night camera. You know what I mean, some security camera footage or something like that so that we could judge that. But uh, it doesn't look like we have anything to work with. So we're, we're just going to have to take their word for it, it looks like. Um, and that's all we got for today. I'm having trouble finding anything else. So we're going to end it at that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see more of this, of delving into like these tabloid type of news places and seeing what we can see and see what they're reporting. See, let, us, let me know what you thought. Was that the Chupacabra? Do you think Earl is a good friendly ghost leaving them tips or does he have something more devious in mind? But all of them I'm pretty sure are authentic, especially since the ghost was confirmed by Redditors. I think we can believe basically all of these were paranormal and supernatural events. But let me know if you like this series and if you'd like to see more of this. If you enjoyed the video, please smash like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it and share the video with family member or a friend. I'd appreciate that more than anything if you do that. Also ring that little bell wherever it is. Get notified every time I do an upload. That's about all I have for you. Stay safe. Don't pet any dogs that might be alligators. Don't pet alligators unless you trust them. And with that, I hope you have an excellent day night whatever time you're watching this. Bye bye.